Welcome to the guitar show. I'm here to try out and review a PRS Private Stock 594 semi acoustic guitar. Um, no, this is not Julian Assange, this is Ramon Goose, and we're going to be trying out some tones. Here we go. This is just on my mobile phone, so it's not going to be super quality, by the way. So here we go. <laughs> So yeah, it's just got a really cool voice. Um, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the build quality. The build quality on this guitar is absolutely incredible. I don't know if it's as good as, say, D'Angelica and Di Gisto, who are the fine Italian New York-based um, guitar makers, but certainly as a kind of a manufactured sort of guitar in the terms of Gibson, Fender, PRS, this is the top of the tree. Uh, it's an amazing, um, beautiful tight grain. You can see this, I mean, it's just incredible work of art. Okay photo but it's real um, we've got these two pickups here we've got the interesting bridge this bridge is kind of custom made by PRS I've never seen this kind of bridge before um, of course the back is as, as beautiful as the front the the neck has got this kind of crazy flame on it I don't know what this neck is made of if it's made of um, some kind of mahogany or lumber but it's flamed at the back we've got rosewood I'm guessing this is maybe Indian rosewood but it might be Brazilian rosewood because I know the ones in America are Brazilian, but maybe the export models are Indian because of the CITES agreement. Um, it's got some really nice little tuners, sort of open back tuners. Um, and it's got the birds, of course, and you've got some, if you go right up close, you can see this kind of nice mother of pearl kind of line here on the fretboard. But all in all, it's a wonderful, beautiful guitar. Now, this guitar here, personally, I would not play this live myself um just because of the image i would be portraying <laughs> you know uh, let me show you my guitar so my my favorite guitar is this one this is my favorite okay for reasons that you can all guess but this guitar however you know this guitar is still a beautiful guitar so it, the, the build quality is absolutely amazing so let's play some blues <laughs> So you can hear that this guitar has just got an incredible voice for that kind of, um, you know, BB King style blues. It's re it really does work well. I mean, I was actually shocked at how good this guitar sounds. Um, and it plays, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to feel how it plays, but let me tell you, the neck size, nice and chunky neck, um, frets are great, you know, you run your hand, there's no sort of sharp bits jaggling out. It's just, you know, just everything you'd want in a setup is, is there. You know? <laughs> Um, another thing is, is it's the sound, the sound quality, it's very clear and it definitely has that PRS sort of tone, you can probably hear it if I, if I go into the middle position and... Uh snap and this clarity that you know you don't get with the Gibson. Gibsons are always kind of a little bit muddy even when you're playing through a clean amp. This is like super hi-fi you know that's how I kind of like hear the PRS sound and this guitar has got that PRS kind of sound to it but it's kind of clearer and it's it's kind of more effective in a way I don't know how to explain it. So if I switch here to this pickup
And you know, you can play really sensitive stuff, especially if you bring out these um, curl taps as well. You can be kind of more. So yeah, it's it's a it's a, a really nice instrument. Let's let's try some tones. So let's try some um, distortion. <laughs> Yeah, so um, not kind of a Les Paul, it's not a Les Paul sound, it's not 335 sound, it's, it's, it's its own thing, definitely, for sure. So if I was playing some sort of cream... Yeah, so it's a very inspiring guitar to play and you know you can really um, move these volume controls here and get some beautiful Yeah, so all in all, a really beautiful guitar. So let me tell you a little story, guys. Um, when, um, before I played this guitar, I think the day before, the same day, um, I went to see a great guitar player called Alan Hines. I don't know if you know him, check him out. He's a um, killer guitar, sort of fusion West Coast player. And um, um, before we went there, it was actually run by a shop called Anderton's. And uh, check out Anderton's, really nice guitar store in England, and nice friendly staff there. And of course, you know the YouTube channel. Um, but anyway, we went in their shop, and I looked at some normal PRSs, you know. And those PRSs, you know, three, three thousand, four thousand quid. I don't know how much they were, but they were the standard PRS guitars. And um, I sort of played them and had a look at them. And for me, they were all dead as a dodo. They didn't ring, didn't speak to me at all, um, and I didn't like them at all, you know, as a playing guitar. However, this guitar here is something totally different. This is on another level. Um, for me, this is all my opinion, by the way, I'm not saying this is fact, but just for me, this, this guitar here, <clears throat> it's a 10,000 quid guitar. I cannot afford this guitar myself, but even if I had the money, I wouldn't buy this guitar, mainly because of the looks I don't like. Um, the birds, the bling, it's, um, it's just not my vibe. I'm into, you know, quirky old 60s guitars from Japan, you know? But saying that, this guitar is one of the best playing and sounding instruments I've ever had in my hands. So, um, although I hate PRS, as I've said in my other videos, 
I don't I don't hate this one. This this is an amazing guitar. So if you've got ten grand to spare and you're a huge PRS fan, then you're not gonna go wrong with this guitar because it really is something else. It's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. So we're gonna end on some some blues and so let's try let's try this tone here. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Bye.